Greeting and welcome all on behalf of National Instructional Media Institute, Chennai. I am G. Rajesh Verna from NSTI, Chennai. Our today's topic is Safety Practice on First Aid and subtitle is Basic First Aid Treatment. At the end of this class, you shall be able to state the first aid and its key aims and you can explain the ABC of first aid and you can briefly explain the details of first aid treatment for a victim and a coma and its causes also you can explain how to report an emergency. First aid. First aid is not just a word. It may be a life saving word. Generally we peoples want to live happy, healthy and safe life. But unfortunately, sometimes we or someone else around us could experience a sudden injury or illness. Generally, we call it as electric shock or accidents, something. Even though nobody is really prepared for an accident in our life. But if it happens with us or with someone else, we need to remember to act immediately. Acting fast in the emergency condition is crucial and can contribute to save someone's life. So, when you provide basic medical care to someone who is experiencing sudden injury or illness, this is known as first aid. So, this first aid will support them to survive until the professional helps arrives. First aid. First aid is defined as the immediate care and support given to an actually injured or ill person primarily to save life. Actually, it prevents further deterations or injury and it provides best possible comfort and finally help them to reach the medical center or hospital through all available means. It is an immediate life-saving procedure using all resources available within the reach. Importing knowledge and skill through institutional teaching at younger age group in schools, colleges, entry point at industry level is now given much importance. Educating such a habit at an earlier age helps to build good healthcare habits among people. First aid procedure often consists of basic and simple life saving techniques that an individual can perform with proper training and basic knowledge. The basic key aim of first aid comes with three key points. They are preserve, prevent and promote. So let us see one by one. Preserve life. If the patient was breathing, a first aider would normally then place them in the recovery position with the patient leaned over their side, which also has the effect of cleaning the tongue from the prinex. It also avoids a common cause of death in unconscious patients, which is choking on regurgitated stomach contents. The airway can also become blocked through a foreign object becoming larger in the pernix or larynx commonly called choking. The first aider will be taught to deal with this through a combination of an abdominal truss. Once the airway has been opened, the first aider would assess to see if the patient is breathing. Prevent further harm. Also, sometimes called prevent the condition from worsening or danger of further injury. This covers both external factors such as moving a patient away from any cause of harm and applying first aid techniques to prevent worsening the condition such as applying pressure to stop a bleed. Promote recovery. First aid also involves trying to start the recovery process from the illness or injury 
and in some case might involve completing a treatment such as in the case of applying a plaster to a small wound. Next topic is training. Through our life experience, we generally know some very basic first aid treatments such as knowing to use of adhesive bandages and applying direct pressure on bleed to stop. But we have to accept this for effective life saving interventions, it requires instruction and practical training. Training. Training is especially true where it relates to potentially fatal illness and injuries such as those that requires cardiopulmonary resuscitation CPR. These procedures may be invasive and carry a risk of further injury to the patient and the provider. In many countries, emergency ambulance dispatchers may give basic first aid instruction over the phone while the ambulance is on the way. Training is generally provided by attending a course typically leading to certification. Due to regular changes in procedures and protocols based on update clinical knowledge and to maintain skill, regular refresher courses or recertification is often necessary. First aid training is often available through community organizations such as the Red Cross. Next is ABC of the first aid. ABC of the first aid are the primary thing that you have to check when you approach the victim that is airway, breathing and circulation. The ABCs of first aid are the primary thing that need to be checked when you approach the victim, airway, breathing and circulation. Airway. First attention must be brought to the airway to ensure it is clear. Obstruction. That means choking is a life-threatening emergency. Breathing if stops, the victim may die soon. Hence, of providing support for breathing is an important next step to be achieved. Blood circulation is vital to keep person alive. The first aiders now trained to go straight to chest compressions through CPR methods. Like ABC, there is one more important procedure in first aid, CPR. CPR stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation. CPR can be a life sustaining practice. If one is trained in CPR and the victim is suffering from choking or finds difficulty in breathing, immediately begin CPR. However, if one is not trained in CPR, do not attempt as you can cause further injury. Important guideline for first aiders. When providing first aid, one needs to follow some rules. Not to get panic. Panic is one emotion that can make the situation more worse. People often make mistake because they get panic. First aider need a calm and collective approaches. If the first aider himself is a state of fear and panic, it may grasp mistakes may result. It's a far easier to help the suffering when they know what they are doing even if unprepared to encounter a situation. Hence, be calm and focus on the given instructions. Quick and confident approach can lessen the effect of injury. Evaluate the situation. Surroundings plays a vital role. There are some situations that might put the first aider at risk. When faced with accidents like fire, toxic smoke, gases, an unstable building, live electrical wires or other dangerous scenario, the first aider should be very careful not to rush into a situation which may prove to be fatal. Different surroundings require different approaches. Hence, first aiders should study the surrounding carefully. In other words, 
one need to make sure that they are safe and they are not in any danger as it would be of no help that the first aider himself get injured. Call emergency services. Call for help or tell someone else to call for help as soon as possible is an important. If alone at the accident scene, try to establish breathing before calling for help and do not leave the victim alone unattended.